Welcome and thank you for joining me to this introduction to the NetApp Snap Creator Framework. Before we begin, I want to take a moment and draw your attention to the octopus in this slide. This little guy was created to represent Snap Creator. You may notice that the arms of the octopus end in several different types of plugs and receptacles, indicating Snap Creator's ability to plug into different operating systems, hypervisors, applications, and databases. We hope that you'll be seeing a lot more of the Snap Creator Octopus. For today's agenda, we're going to have an overview of the NetApp Snap Creator framework. Then we'll take a look under the hood of Snap Creator and look a little bit into how Snap Creator works. We'll then talk some about the Snap Creator developer community. And we'll finish up with some summary and resources. So let's get started with the Snap Creator framework overview. First, we'll take a look at some of the common backup challenges that we're faced with. As we speak with customers and administrators, common themes keep appearing. One of them being that we want to accelerate backup and recovery, not only of existing applications or databases, but new ones coming into the environment. Do I want a backup and recovery tool that can only manage a specific set of applications? Or do I want a backup and recovery tool that can extend out to virtually any application where I can integrate it into my environment very quickly and begin backing up and recovering my data. We also hear an increased need to support multiple applications and hypervisors. And there's the need to have an error-free way to back up and restore workflows for multiple applications and databases within physical and virtualized environments. Finally, we need simplicity and flexibility a single pane of glass that allows us to take any application that doesn't match within the environment and create a mechanism to back it up, clone it, restore it, or really whatever it is that you need to do with your application. So what is the Snap Creator framework? It's software running on the host and its purpose is to provide a central framework allowing for the integration of NetApp technologies with application consistent backups in both virtual and non-virtual environments. Snap Creator Framework is integrated with Data Ontat data protection and replication technology. From the Snap Creator user interface, you can execute or schedule data management operations such as snapshot copies or clones. Snap Creator Framework ships with a set of pre-packaged plugins that are supported by NetApp Global Support. For the cloud or virtualization admin, Snap Creator provides a set of hypervisor plugins that enable the admin to back up and restore virtual machines and cloud environments. For the DBA or application administrator, Snap Creator provides a set of database and application plugins. These plugins integrate with server data for consistent backup and recovery operations. And the Snap Creator is a framework, so it allows for plugins to be created in any language and integrated with the framework. Plugins are intended to specifically handle application quiesce and unquiesce while taking advantage of NetApp technologies. This facilitates the creation of new application plugins quickly and easily. Snap Creator Framework provides application aware virtual machine and vCloud backup, restores, and clones. It supports multiple operating systems. Windows, Linux, Solaris, AIX, and HPUX. It's modular and extensible for custom application development. It provides a simple user experience. Snap Creator's only been a product for a little less than three years, but in that time, we've gained more than 450 customers. We have very strong momentum in large enterprises and service provider environments. Snap Creator comes with 11 prepackaged supported plugins. And there's a growing set of community plugins. Snap Creator has two release types, a community release and a supported release. We'll discuss more about the plugins and the release types here in just a few moments. So as mentioned, Snap Creator is host-based software. It provides you that single pane of glass experience, one environment where you can create configurations for multiple backup, restore, and clone jobs. You can schedule those configurations so that they run at specified times. You can monitor those jobs, make sure that they're running successfully, and report on any errors. And you can manage a heterogeneous environment 
from this one tool, this one user interface. Snap Creator again runs on multiple operating systems, Windows, Linux, HP UX, Solaris, and AIX. Integrates with a breadth of applications and databases, including Oracle, Domino, Sybase, MaxDB, and others. It also integrates with a variety of hypervisors for cloud and virtual machine backup. VMware, both vCloud Director and vCenter, Red Hat KVM, and Citrix Zen Server. Snap Creator supports multi-tenant environment through role-based access controls. And we have a very customizable workflow. You can call custom commands or scripts anywhere within the flow of Snap Creator and build a workflow that works the way that you need it to. So let's take a look under the hood of the Snap Creator framework. First we're going to take an in-depth look of the Snap Creator architecture. The base component is the Snap Creator server. This is installed on a central backup server or in smaller environments it can be installed on the same host as an application or database that you wish to manage. The workflow engine is the central component of Snap Creator. This XML-driven, multi-threaded workflow engine is responsible for running all of the Snap Creator tasks and commands. Snap Creator APIs are used by the Snap Creator GUI and CLI and potentially can be used by other products or services. The Snap Creator repository holds information on Snap Creator profiles and configuration files, including global configs and profile level global configs. The Snap Creator database stores information on Snap Creator schedules and jobs, as well as RBAC users and roles. The storage interface provides Snap Creator with a common interface to NetApp storage systems, which uses data on tap APIs to handle actions such as snapshot copies, snap vault and snap mirror updates, and more. Snap Creator also has a DFM interface for communications with NetApp on command. This uses DFM APIs instead of ONTAP APIs for actions such as snapshot copy, snap vault, and snap mirror updates. It should be noted that on command is purely optional. You do not have to use it. If you want to, you certainly may, but it is not required. Finally, the Snap Creator server has an agent interface to communicate with Snap Creator agents. The Snap Creator agent is most often installed on a different physical or virtual host than the Snap Creator server, but you can install both on the same host. The Snap Creator server's agent interface communicates with the Snap Creator agent installed on the physical or virtual host. The Snap Creator agent contains a series of supported application or database plugins. These plugins typically handle quiesce and unquiesce actions, as well as restore actions. Additional plugins are available in the Snap Creator community. And Snap Creator can also work with NetApp SnapDrive products. If you choose to use SnapDrive, you simply provide the SnapDrive command, and ONTAP actions are driven through SnapDrive instead of the NetApp APIs. Again, this is purely optional. If you want to use SnapDrive, you can. You do not have to. Here's a look at how the Snap Creator server and agent work together. Snap Creator actions are initiated by the server. Communication to the agent, by default, occurs on port 9090, but this is fully customizable. Use any port that you like. The agent handles application quiesce and unquiesce commands, as well as other types of pre and post commands. Zappy calls to the storage system occur on the Snap Creator server over port 80 or 443 and handles all snapshot, snap vault, snap mirror type functions before committing changes to storage devices. We have an extensive list of prepackaged supported plugins, which you can see here on screen. Additionally, there are several community plugins available on the NetApp community site. Examples of community plugins are PostgreSQL, MongoDB, NetWare, and InterSystems Cache. There are certainly others. Check the community for full information. And here's an example of a plugin. We're going to use the Oracle plugin. First, I want to state that with Snap Creator, we use the terms application quiesce and unquiesce. These are meant as generic terms, just indicating that we're going to put an application or database into a quiesce state, be it write suspend, hot backup mode. There's many different terminologies. The point is that we want to take this application or database and put it in a consistent state. 
Generally speaking, we will use the terms quiesce and unquiesce. So for the Oracle plugin specifically, during the application quiesce stage, we're going to check the version of Oracle. We're going to check to see if it's a rec. We're going to validate that hot backup mode is OK. We're going to back up the control file. Then we're going to put Oracle into hot backup mode. Next, we'll take a snapshot copy. Once the snapshot copy is complete, in the application unquiesce stage, we'll exit Oracle hot backup mode. We'll send the command alter system archive log current, and we'll again back up the control file. And then finally, we'll take a snapshot of our archive log volume. All of the plugins work in this same general method, meaning that we quiesce the application, we take a snapshot copy, and we unquiesce. But the specifics of how these plugins work are different depending on the plugin in use. So the Domino plugin, for example, uses Domino APIs in order to quiesce and unquiesce the application. In addition to these plugins, you have the option of running custom commands anywhere within the flow of Snap Creator. Or you can use no plugin at all. Create your own workflow using only these custom commands. You can have 1 to 99 of each one of these commands. Examples are the pre underscore app underscore quiesce. Before I quiesce my application, run this command. Or the post underscore app underscore unquiesce. After I unquiesce an application, run this command. Or the pre or post restore. So for example, before I restore a database, run this command to stop my database. And after I perform a restore, run this command to start that database back up. There's one here that's a little different, and that's the pre-exit command. Typically what happens is your command runs. You do a pre-app quiesce, you run a command where you're going to quiesce your application, then you quiesce it, then you take a snapshot, and then you unquiesce it. If anywhere within that normal execution sequence an error occurs, we fire off the pre-exit command. The idea is that if you've taken your database and you put it into a quiesced mode, a write suspend state, you probably want to bring that database up into a normal operation mode before Snap Creator exits. So pre-exit command is a command or series of commands to take your environment and put it back to a normal operation mode in the event of an error. You can still have 1 to 99 of them, but they only run in the event that an error condition occurs. Let's take a few moments and talk about the Snap Creator developer community. Snap Creator is developed utilizing the community model, and anyone can get involved by signing up at www.snapcreator.com. This screenshot is an example of what you see when you go to the snapcreator.com website. This gives you options to download community releases, get documentation and information about Snap Creator, information on how to join the Snap Creator community, or clicking the community link redirects you to the community site in GitHub. GitHub is one of the tools that the Snap Creator team uses to develop Snap Creator. GitHub is a code sharing site that is used to collaboratively build software. Feature requests, bug fixes, improvements, and more is all available on GitHub for anyone with an account to see. So there are two releases for Snap Creator a community release, which is on a six month cadence, and a NetApp supported release, which is also on a six month cadence. The end result is that there is a new version of Snap Creator approximately every three months. Now since there are two releases, they are supported slightly differently. The community release is supported by the Snap Creator community, whereas the NetApp release is supported by NetApp Global Support and we are looking for contributors to be part of this developers community. We want people to join our community and help make Snap Creator a better product. And you don't need to be a hard code developer. We're looking for any feedback to help make Snap Creator better. As shown, we use GitHub to develop Snap Creator. So once you join the community, you can see all the enhancement requests, all the bug fixes. You can see everything out there and you can put in your own. We also have a monthly Snap Creator Community Advisory Council where we actively seek feedback, show new features and integrations, and just have open discussions about Snap Creator. Snap Creator is licensed as open source, and you can do it yourself or work with others. 
So again, join the community at www.snapcreator.com. We'll finish up today with summary and resources. To summarize the benefits of the Snap Creator framework, single pane of glass, one interface where you can create all your configurations, you can manage all your configs, you can schedule all your jobs, you can view the results, one interface to do it all. Snap Creator works on multiple platforms, Windows, Linux, Solaris, AIX, HPUX. We support application-aware virtual machines and vCloud backups full multi-tenancy support, the ability to call custom commands anywhere within the flow of Snap Creator, centralized scheduling, centralized job monitoring, role-based access controls, Snap Creator APIs, and community development. Snap Creator resources are available within the Snap Creator interface. Simply click Help and then Resources. This will present you with a pop-up screen with a list of links. Clicking on any of the links will open up a new tab in your browser so you won't be directed away from the Snap Creator interface. Snap Creator software and documentation is available through the NetApp support site, support.netapp.com. Snap Creator itself is a no cost product. It is available at no charge if you have a valid storage support contract. No licenses, download it and start using it today. Be sure to check the interoperability matrix, the IMT, to make sure that your environment is fully supported. Additional information is available from netup.com and on TechNet. But probably the best single source of information about Snap Creator is the Snap Creator community on NetApp communities. That's communities.netup.com. Go to products and solutions, database and enterprise apps, and Snap Creator. This is a very active forum full of people asking questions, integrating Snap Creator into their environment. We have people on our team interacting constantly with this forum, answering questions and participating. So if you have any questions, that is the best place to go. For developers, or if you're interested in joining our Snap Creator community, go to www.snapcreator.com or feel free to email us at xdl snapcreator dash dev at netapp.com. Thank you for your time and your attention today. Hopefully this has been a valuable presentation for you. And again, for additional information, visit us at www.snapcreator.com or visit our community forum on communities.netapp.com.